Hello there and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue down the road of uh, the audio part of uh, Qt Multimedia. Um, so during the break I added some buttons. Um, here's the button file right here. We have a property string called mouse clicked. Okay, and when the uh, okay when the person it presses the button, it changes it to be uh, pressed, and when they release it, it's changed to be released. Then we have a signal called button clicked, and that is it. Okay, and then we have an icon, right, um, which is set for our underneath our image, our source here. Okay, that's great. If we go back over to player, what I did is, is I took a button, I made a row first, and then I took the button, and I just the same as before, but instead of it saying play or pause, I just added, uh, I just added pictures. And we can see uh, I added some JavaScript also too. Um, if we go inside the JavaScript, I added the uh, icon path to be my uh, user share oxygen 48 actions. And then I wrote two functions here. Um, one to get um, time back in uh, minutes from milliseconds and then the other to get uh, a full string back uh, basically like you know minutes to strings and seconds to strings um, which is basically like zero zero dot zero zero or or you know whatever it is um, okay so back over to our player here I added uh, I added behavior on icon so when uh, the when the player presses the uh, button and it changes the icon um, it bounces from from point nine to uh, one with a duration of 800 and an easing out bounce on the uh, on the stop button we have it on button click player stop same deal with the icon and we use mouse clicked so that's why I put that as a property in our other one in our actual button thing um, we have a rewind and a fast forward and then I added some text and I said um, I said use from my utility file uh, milliseconds to string okay and I want you to take player dot duration right so what's left of the player okay what's left of the file okay like the whole entire thing like if I have a file that's uh, a media file and I open it up and it's uh, you know four minutes and 30 seconds long then this is that's what this is okay and then I say minus okay the actual player's position right so if I'm listening to some music and I'm one minute and 30 seconds into the into the music okay it'll take that and then um, minus it right and then I'm just uh, for the color I'm using the palette window text and it's the same size as the height um, and those are all in a row and so like let's see what that looks like here we go so we have a pause button play button a rewind button and you can see when we rewind it it rewinds the fast forward button and a stop button uh, and a play button and that's it for right now now let's talk about some of the media things, um, the the metadata, I should say. Um, so let's let's start out with some metadata. We'll say text, okay? And now we're gonna say uh, artist name, and we're gonna say check this out. We just say um, what's the name of our player? It's called player, and then we say metadata, and we say dot um, what is it? Album artist, I think. So album artist. I think that's it. So let's save and run that. Oops. Let's save and run that. And as you can see, it knows that it's fish. Um, let's do a new Let's add a new line. And let's do this, but let's do, I think it's album title. There we go, it knows that it's Billy Breathes. Well, that's good. Okay, so if we actually go into the audio one and we look at each one of these, sometimes they're gonna be undefined, right? Actually, a lot of times, like for cover art, URL large and stuff like that. Um, so what we can do is we can set these manually ourselves, which is not really very much fun, or we can use an API. Um, an online API that is. So if we go over, here's Last FM and their API, and you can see um, 
we're only we're not gonna put we're not gonna stream music from them even though we could but we're gonna um actually just do uh you know get the out get the metadata we're just gonna get like a, a picture maybe and uh some other things so what i did is is like i went and i started creating um an xml uh list model for it i gave it a property string for artist okay so in our api you can see right here this part right here info.artist i am calling it and then i made a property and a variant called last artist and i set it to null okay now in our uh in our on status changes right here i have it set up to be if it errors out council log the error string and then reload the model okay but if it's ready and if the count is greater than zero okay i want to take and i want to say from our item here okay our last fm our null thing there i want to grab from the model okay and i want to get that uh from the count right basically uh how can i explain that easier so this is the this is the item right here right and then we have it we have a property that's equal to null right okay and then we say but it's not equal to null anymore it's equal to nfo fm which is our model our xml model and then there is the get property in that okay that, that gets each thing in the model like i could say say there's like 15 of the year formed right there's 15 of them on there right instead of if count i could just take that out and i could say 15 dot year formed okay and that would go and get the 15th one for the year form in the model okay but for what we're doing we are actually just going to have it be like this okay um, so let's go back over to our player over here and let's add on to that okay so let's say uh, right above the audio here it might be nice to work right there let's say uh, what did I call it I have to import the folder there API folder okay and then we're going to get artist okay and then the ID is gonna be last we'll just say all artist just say L art it's a lot easier and then we'll say um, for the artist for the remember we set one there that we need to get we'll just uh, copy this player this metadata right here okay and then we can set it in there and we could do a lot of error checking and stuff like that but that's not the point right now okay so there we go so that's all we need and um, so we have the artist set up and now instead of this being a you know I like the text being there so let's say um, let's get a picture okay of the artist so let's say image okay and we're gonna call this uh, a pick for artist picture and we're going to set the file okay to be l art okay dot and then we're gonna point to that null again which is what did I call it last artist okay and then we're gonna tell what we want to get back all right and in our case let's go back over to um, our roles here and we will grab our role of image dot extra large okay and we'll copy that and let's go back over to our player here and enter that in right there okay and let's take and make the uh, let's set the width and height on this See parent dot with dash divided by six and for the height we'll set it to be the same as the width okay so let's uh, clean this up oops and let's see if this works oh there it is right there so um, let's anchor it to the bottom of this right here we'll say top top is equal to artist name bottom try that again
again. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, bring it up. So we'll say width divided by two. Okay, that's a lot better there. So let's stop that. Now let's go back over to uh, our artist here and let's see here. Our listeners, similar artists. Let's see here. Here's your formed content summary. Let's try summary. Um, so we grab that and we go back over to our player here and we say text and we're going to say Excuse me, we're going to say L art dot last artist and the summary. Okay, and we are going to say the width of this is the parent dot width. Okay, and then we're going to say wrap mode and we're going to say text dot word wrap. Ah! Okay, and we're going to set the color of it to be to the palette uh, dot text and then we are going to anchor the top of it to the bottom of a pick. I should have just made a, a column. Now we'll clean this up. And let's run this and see what this looks like. Whoa, that did not anchor to the top of, oh, I see why, okay. So let's uh, go ahead and take a pick right here and we'll say a pick dot bottom. And we'll save that and run that. Sweet. Okay, now let's take in from our text right here, let's make this flickable. inside of our flickable area we're going to say um, width is equal to parent dot width height is equal to parent dot height minus bottom bar bar dot height okay and then we're going to say content ah content height okay is going to be equal to uh, parent dot height and we'll just say times four okay then we will say content width and that's equal to our parent dot width okay and then we're gonna say interactive we're gonna set that to true we're gonna say uh, the, the way that we want it to uh, stop on bounds behaviors. So bounds behaviors. And let's see here. Flickable. Of course, this is the last one. Flickable stop at bounds. Okay, let's try and run that. Okay. So we're learning more and more and more about this. Um, we could set it up to be something like, <clears throat> excuse me, we could set it up to be for our text here. We could say artist dash tab. Okay, and then we'll say plus. Okay, and then for right here, we got a new line. And after our new line, we're gonna say um, album okay, and then we'll put a tab there too so let's just try that okay I'm liking that we can scroll up and down and we have these things right here I guess we could turn it into uh, HTML if we wanted to to make it uh, you know, so that when we click these, uh, you know, it'll actually, uh, you know, send off us to the to the thing, right? To to the to the site, right? So there we go. We got that now. And let's take and take the image, okay? And we'll say 
we'll go back to its anchors right here and we will say horizontal center is equal to parent dot horizontal center okay let's run that again okay do we have a uh, in our um, in our audio here do we have a thing to see what song it is metadata title codec author category chapter name conductor so on so forth. there's a lot of them here uh, date description keywords I wonder what description will uh, give us here. It might be undefined. Let's just, yeah, you can go through each one of these and check out uh, each one of them. There's even like lyrics and poster URL and so on and so forth. There's a lot. Um, so let's try a couple more of them here real quick. So we'll say, move this over a little bit so we can see here. Just add these over here so it's easier to see. Say plus new line. Plus player metadata. We wanted to try out description this time. So player metadata dot Whatever, I'm gonna copy that because I can't spell worth a crap. Okay, let's try and that out. It says undefined, right? Uh, that's no good. So it doesn't look like there is an actual thing for the song. Um, what we could do is we could cut the the value of the URL that we're using for the source that we're using for the uh, for the audio player itself, but. Uh, Oh, title. Let's try that. Just straight up title. Hey, there we go. Okay, good. Um, so let's say song name in another tab. There we go. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, man. So let's take the actual width of this, right? And we're actually going to set it to be parent width, but I really like the width of it for the other size. So for the height, we're going to keep it at the same, but we're going to stretch the width on this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Um, anyways, you can see where this is going. Uh, you know, if we just keep on going, we could, you know, there's another AP, there's a whole get things by the album, and we can get the artist's album and so on and so forth, uh, just to show that off. I'll try and show that off as quick as possible. Uh, let's see how long I've been recording, though, for. 18 minutes. Okay, that's long enough. I'm not going to do the get artist, but, um, or I'm sorry, get album, but it works. Anyways, I'm Joseph. In this one, we just went a little bit further into the cute uh, multimedia and we learned about the metadata stuff and we learned that we we can set the metadata ourselves so we don't need to even set them inside of our image and inside of our, our text and stuff we could set them here also right I think we could be like metadata and then put some curly brackets and then for title T-I-T-L-E, set this to be fish. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, that doesn't work. That's a read-only property, so we can't set them. But anyways, that is pretty much all the audio that you're going to need. And again, we came out with this. 
and this was less than an hour of coding here and now we have a media player that plays you know different things right and um, we could make like a slider here for like the images and so on and so forth you know um, let's change the artist completely and see if it picks up on it really quick so this is the last thing that I'm doing here. I don't know if Flack is going to be able to play on here, but let's just give it a shot. Uh, let's see here. I've got Frank Zappa. And we can try. I doubt that these are going to play, but it's worth a shot. It's playing. And there's Frank Zappa. Pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty easy to do. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We should put some wrapping on this and, you know, probably make this into a model or something like that, you know. Anyways, that's how you get started on, uh, you know, multimedia and whatnot. I'm going to finish listening to this song because I like it. Uh, have a good one. Take care. I'm Joseph. Goodbye.